You right there, ladies and gents, how is it going? I'm out on Lord Vader, baby. Oh, yeah. Not rid of this. Not rid of this bike for well over a year, I don't think. I can't remember, honestly, can't remember the last time I swung a leg on this and got to go for a little spin. So, yeah, taking it down to T Northeast, getting its MOT on it. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, till I get a clean bill of health, just like the little CB100 did. And uh, yeah, that'll be it, that'll be it. It will be all ready to go, all ready to go. So this little bad boy has also been in my house. This one is uh, another house bike. Um, yeah, it's been in my living room for the last year and a bit. And uh, yeah, I kind of miss it being in there. I'm, I'm very fond of this motorcycle, I really am. Uh, but sadly, I am going to be selling it. Um, I'll possibly advertise it once I've got the MOT on it, or I might wait until uh, winter is done with because it isn't really an all-weather motorcycle and uh, people are probably less likely to be interested in it until they're guaranteed a little bit nicer weather so um, yeah it will be a real shame to say goodbye to this but times move on and uh, I just stopped riding it so yeah yeah I have just serviced it I've uh, put in new oil new filter um, I've bled the brakes, well not bled the brakes, but I've changed the brake fluid um, front and rear because that had seen far better days. Um, yeah, it was black in the rear, I can't remember the last time I did the rear. I know I did the front semi-recently, or at least uh, when I changed the pads last time, I at least cycled through some fluid, bleeding them. I'd kind of pretty much forgotten how to ride this thing. It's uh, very agricultural, um, the V7 always has been, and uh, I love it, I love it. It's kind of pure, if you know what I mean. It's it's a motorcycle. It does things motorcycly. <laughs> I know that probably sounds a little bit odd to you, but um, yeah, it's a proper, proper motorcycle. Air-cooled, V-twin. Um, yeah, what's not to love, eh? What's not to love? With all the tarting up I've been doing um, and servicing and stuff like that, I actually forgot to check the tire pressures on this, and they do feel they do feel a little bit a little bit soft. Um, so, yes, hopefully that's not an MOT issue, uh, but we will uh, double check the pressures um, when I get home or or next time I'm in the garage or whatever. It'll be dark by the time I get home. Uh, the MOT is booked for 5 p.m. So. Um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be dark soon, very dark soon. Right, well, we are just about at T Northeast. Watch where you're going, buddy. Oh, yeah, right, let's. Uh... Let's go grab an MOT. Um, yeah, I don't have to do much for its MOT, uh, I just have to change the uh, number plate um, for a big stupid one, um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think they're soft, I don't think they're soft, they just might need adjusting a little bit, I don't know, um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, let's get an MOT, let's get an MOT. Keep that bike from Yeah, baby, we got an MOT. Oh, yeah. All right, well, happy days, happy days indeed. We have 12 months test achieved. Now, I'm not going to go for a spin on the bike now. It's legal um, for two reasons. One, because it's not actually legal yet, um, because it's not got any road tax. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, in the UK, we have to have um, road tax on our bikes, as well as an annual inspection and all that sort of stuff and you can't tax your vehicle until it's got its MOT so uh, yeah yeah but you're allowed to drive to the MOT without tax as long as it's pre-booked I think that's kind of how the gist of the rules work um, but yeah it's all, all a bit of a, a pain in the neck and uh, because you can't sell a motorcycle with tax it means that if I do tax it and I was to sell it this month I wouldn't be able to claim that tax back and the new owner wouldn't be able to use that tax so the government just get twice as much tax off everyone it's just stupid I hate the new rules uh, in the olden days you'd buy a tax disc it would be valid for six or twelve months and uh, then you'd put that on your motorbike in a little little window and 
you could transfer that with the motorcycle when you sold it but you just can't do that anymore now it is very dark um, as it was when I rode the CB100 back from that one's MOT so uh, I guess this is just about it but yeah good news the motorcycle now has a full a bill, clean bill of health nice MOT and it's running great um, yeah yeah I might just need to check the tire pressures that's about it uh, so uh, life is good life is good Lord Vader's back baby Lord Vader's back I would like to go out for a proper run on it if we have a nice sunny day and all that sort of stuff but sorting the road tax thing is a bit of a pain in the neck and uh, it's tax it for a month or tax it for six months or tax it for a year is the options um, and I don't really want to do any spending that I don't need to uh, so I'll have to I'll have to see what the weather's like on a day off if we get a glorious glorious sunshiny day then I might well stick a monster road tax on it might well stick a monster road tax on it and just go for a nice little jolly for old times sake um, and get one final vlog out of the bike <laughs> Anyway, anyway, that's it, right. Um, if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you like Moto Guzzi V7s and all that sort of stuff. Um, and if you don't, you didn't, and you smell a cabbage wee and all that stuff, you can always give it a little thumbs down. I don't mind at all. But please do drop in a comment. I do love hearing from you. Oh, we're right bang in the middle of rush hour. We're right bang in the middle of rush hour. Ah, oh, well, whatever, whatever. Right, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Keep that bike. Proper side. Down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bike. Proper side. Down.